Hi everyone, this is Nathan from theebookreader.com. Today I've got something really cool. This is Honeycomb Android 3.0 running on the Nook Color. This is actually Deeper Blue's version. This is still a preview version of Honeycomb. It's not even the official version of Honeycomb yet. So what's really cool about this is it's ridiculously easy to set up on your Nook Color. You don't have to have any hacks or, note or roots or anything complicated like that. All you have to do is burn an image onto a micro SD card and then insert the micro SD card and then boom, you've got Android Honeycomb running. Um, take out the SD card and you're back to your stock Nook. You can have, you know, two Nooks essentially in one. So um, what's cool about this is, is Honeycomb is the first Android that's actually designed for tablets. So it's got um, buttons down here. It's got a whole new user interface. Um, since the Nook doesn't have hardware buttons, it works great because it has them down here. So it's got like new settings menu. It's got a new web browser. The whole um, seems to work really well. Actually, I have a 8 gigabyte class 2 SanDisk card. Um, it's supposed to run even better with class 10 or class uh, 6 cards. So uh, even with the class 2 card, I mean, it's pretty smooth. So what's really cool is you got your bookmarks right here for websites and stuff. The web browser, the new web browser is one thing that's pretty cool about it. Um, you got it seems to load quite a, pretty fast here. It's a load a page. Just one thing. So that's one really cool thing. It definitely loads fast. It's got some, here's your bookmarks menu up here. So uh, set up for tablets, it's all visual. You got the big icons and the different history. So this is what's going to be on all the tablets coming out here pretty soon. The Note Color just happens to be the first to get that. It's pretty cool. Um, some other things with it, you can select text by holding down and you get this little arrow icon. You can copy. Say if you want to put that onto a note or something. I'm on an odd angle here. Touchscreen actually usually works pretty well. So if you just go in here, like you want to add notes from the, um, you take notes from the website or something. That's it. It's pretty cool. Some other cool stuff with the browser. This is, like I said, this isn't even the full release yet. This is actually just a preview version. Um, one other thing I noticed is that it's got this other type of setting here in labs quick controls this reminds me of the notion you got them right here so it gets rid of your navigation on top and then it brings it up over here when you do this get your forward and back your bookmarks menu so that's pretty cool set up right there you can move between tabs obviously let me get the keyboard out of there So that's not a, some of the new things with the um, new web browser. I'm actually liking it a lot so far. Um, so like I said, you can. Uh, there's a lot of things you can set on here with widgets. You just hold down, you get the different menus for. The, the, it's, since it's for tablets, it's a lot uh, more visually set up for larger icons for widgets. Um, you can just take them and then drag them wherever, whichever screen of your home screens you want it to go onto. Also add app shortcuts, of course, and different wallpapers. And you can also add shortcuts for, you know, directly for ebooks or files from your SD card and stuff. What else is really cool? See this icon right here? It brings up your recently, where you've recently been. It's like the um, history thing for just quickly searching between apps and it leaves your app wherever this date it was when you left it so you can quickly go between apps wherever you are so it's got Android Market on here this actually took a little bit more work to set up a couple extra steps with ADB to install it it'll probably be all part of the card install here pretty soon so I won't get to, into too many details with this but yeah once you get the new Android Market set up on here that is really cool to search for and download all these new apps you can also go on the new website now they have a new web website for Android Market where you can just use your web browser or this web browser too so um, a couple other things like the Angry Bird games work uh, Google Maps the regular version didn't work it's available in the Android Market but this version was at Android Freeware it's version 5.0 it seems to work quite a bit better it's got pinch to zoom
I said, you can add short custom ebooks directly on there. I've got all these ebook apps working well. One thing is that the Nook regular you're, you don't have access to the regular Nook part of the Nook color when you have this running because it's on the SD card. But you can install the Nook reading app. I've noticed that um, it doesn't work for, say, the kids' books and stuff because those are strictly for the Nook color app. But one thing I find a little bit odd is that it has landscape mode where the regular Nook color app doesn't have landscape mode. So if you like landscape mode, that's definitely one plus. It even has two page landscape mode. Also has one page. Has all the other features like, you know, page sync and um, notes, highlights, that kind of thing. You can change the font color, font type. So that's pretty cool. So you can, like I said, this is no hacks required. This is all just off your SD card, so you don't have to do anything complicated. You can also have your Kindle app on here. Uh, my favorite one is Aldeco. Aldeco is my favorite one. You can read DRM pubs on it now. You can use your RSS readers. So that's some of the stuff that you can do with this new note color. With the Honeycomb SD card, it's really, really cool. It's really easy to set up. I got the directions on my website. Um, the link is below the video on YouTube. So if you want to learn how to do this to your Nook, just um, check it out. Um, thanks for watching the video.